Today we've got leaked Flares 3 release date and specs, Intel's 9th generation launch event gets a date as well as pricing and specs, new Threadripper CPUs, and could there be a new Nintendo Switch? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Melt. Before we get started, don't forget about the giveaway where you can win one of four Steam or New Egg gift cards. It's free to enter, and there are multiple ways to enter, so check that out in the description below. Now on to the news. First up for today, it looks like the recent rumors pegging AMD on releasing new mid-range graphics cards to succeed Polaris 20 might just be accurate. Reported by PCOnline.com, who learned of the impending graphics cards from a third-party AIB partner. According to them, the successor to AMD's Radeon RX 570 will be releasing between October 12th and the 15th, with the RX 580 successor appearing in November. They don't know the final product names, but the first card is believed to be the 570 successor due to it packing the same 2048 cores. Just like the previous rumor, Polaris 30 is expected to be built on the 12 nanometer process, so it'll essentially be a slightly more efficient or powerful RX 500 series. What's good is that a real performance difference can be expected thanks to an actual die shrink, unlike last time where the 500 series was essentially an overclocked 400 counterpart. Of course, don't expect anything like a huge generational jump, just some slightly higher clocks or better TDP. Next up, Intel has announced the desktop launch event, and you can only guess what that's for. That's right, their 9th generation CPUs are all but guaranteed to make an appearance, along with their long-awaited 8-core 16-thread 9900K. That date is set for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and speaking of 9th gen CPUs, a follower of the channel, Jan Petro, sent me a retailer for some premature listings of their i5, i7, and i9. And the specs show us what we've been seeing for quite some time. Let's just say that these aren't exactly the most well-kept secret. The i5-9600K is a 6-core, six 6-thread six CPU with a base clock of 3.7GHz. The i7-9700K is an 8-core, eight 8-thread eight CPU with a base clock of 3.6GHz. And the i9-9900K is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU with the same base clock of 3.6 GHz. As far as price, it's definitely not looking good. The i5 comes in at 218 pounds, the i7 at 350 pounds, and the i9 set to a whopping 449 pounds, which is well over 500 US dollars. <laughs> Don't forget though, you get a nice box. Now, that could just be the we're really low on stock price, or maybe that is MSRP, which means prices could go that much higher. Let's just hope it's the former. Next up, AMD announced two new processors in their second generation Threadripper lineup. The 24-core 2970WX and 12-core 2920X will launch on October 29th, with the 24-core set to retail at $1,299 and the 12-core at $649. Lastly for today, it looks like Nintendo might be planning an updated Nintendo Switch for next year. According to a report by the Wall Street Journal, which unfortunately I'm not subscribed to so I can't read the article, but there isn't much to say. We don't have much information, but it'll probably be a more powerful version to continue and support modern games with a higher resolution, better screen, etc. Either way, it will support past games and won't be a full new console, so current Switch owners, fret not. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Intel's newest and greatest, or excited for Intel's newest and greatest, or do you prefer to keep your spleen? Let me know down in the comments below, and definitely don't forget to check out that giveaway. You can find that in the description. And as always, have a great day.